1994 was a magical year for you. Your brace against Zambia led Nigeria to the African title. It was weird because you hadn't played the previous games, you know? Well, it's not a bad thing. I think our team, we had a... Uh, we, we, we have great players, and uh, the whole 23 players that went to the AFCON, even the ones that we had dropped, uh, they also deserve to be in that team because we have very good players. Uh, not playing is not because you are not in at the best moment. But of course, the, only, the important thing is, as a player, even if you are not playing, is to always uh, you know, be with a, a positive mind and then continue to work uh, uh, when the opportunity, you know, comes your way, you can be able to uh, not to prove anything to anybody, is to at least uh, contribute and add value to your team, and that is exactly what happened. I uh, was not been able to play throughout the tournament, and then in the final, the coach decided to you know to bring me in, and then uh, I must be able to be in a position to help my team because somebody else has been playing there. And uh, the person also has contributed a lot that lead us to be in the final. So it's also my turn to, to play my part. And that's what I did. Uh, sometimes being in the final is not because uh, you have the best players. Uh, you and I know that uh, there are a lot of factors uh, that can make a team to be in the final and also can make a team regardless of the quality of their players. They can also lose not to be in the final. So we were just uh, thinking of how to play our game and also, you know, try to play as a team. Uh, when you look at the team, individually, we have a lot of talented players. But how can we now uh, play as a team collectively uh, without undermining the individual qualities that are in the team? I think that is the key word that uh, actually, you know, lead us to, to play in that final against Zambia. Zambia also was a great team. Looking at the history of what happens to them, six, uh, six months to the AFCON, uh, losing all their players, and then within a short period of time, they were able to raise great team and they get to the final. So the final was a kind of a mix with a lot of sentiment, mixed with a lot of uh, a reaction, mixed with a lot of hope. Uh, Zambia on one side, if you look at things, deserve to be, win the cup to you know to honor their lost heroes. Nigeria also looking at the players that we possessed, it's a the right time to to really demonstrate to Africa and that we have a very good team, and uh, that is exactly what we did. But at the end of the day, for me personally, yeah, Nigeria we won the Afcon, but also the Zambian team, you know, uh, has to be credited and respected uh, uh, through the effort they have put from, from day one to be in the final. But is it hard playing against such a, um, a team with a, with, a, with a tragic situation? Well, it, one way emotionally it was hard uh, in times of uh, uh, most of those guys that uh, lost their life, uh, they also like us or like we playing on that day at that uh, final uh, they deserve not to you know to lo lose their lives but of course you know when it comes to death uh, it's beyond human uh, recognition and human understanding uh, the the feeling was a kind of mix yeah, but you know when you are on the field of play you, you, as a player as a professional uh, you are basically not thinking about anything it's about the game uh, to win the game, to give the best, but of course you also have that uh, woman part of you, the empathy side of, uh, of you as a woman, to also recognize that uh, the other team also, uh, they also deserve to win, they could have also won the game. So it's a kind of a mix, mixed reaction.